Hello everyone, my name is Ayn and it's time to journey into reviewing Luna's Fishing Garden today. This game review covers story, gameplay, soundtrack, setting and character designs, along with replay value. It will be spoiler free for the storyline. I appreciate each like and subscribe given to my video and channel. Please remember to do so if you enjoy this video. Let's go over the game's fact sheet first. Luna's Fishing Garden is a short, cozy fishing and building game. Catch fish, trade it in, and create the gardens of your dreams by planting new trees, placing water objects, and bringing animals to the archipelago. Luna's Fishing Garden, released on Steam on June 16th, 2021, the asking price for the game is $7.99 US dollars and I have finished the entire game and this review will reflect that. Why did I pick up this game? The vibrant colors combined with the pixel art. Fishing is not my favorite activity in a live sim game but the ability to build my landscape spoke volumes to me. Plus it is a comfy game as well and those games are higher on my list right now. Plus, you are recreating a garden. I cannot say no to that. The story begins with a storm in the real world, and then Casey, our main character, is whisked away to Luna's fishing garden. You meet Luna and learn a storm passed through this world as well. The islands are a mess, and Luna needs you to help restore them by bringing life back to these islands. It is simple and straight to the point with a clear beginning, middle, and end. You will meet and interact with various spirits throughout the story. Each character has a quest line beyond the story quest that cements their role in this world. The characters are stereotypical and do not venture beyond their purpose. Now, they move the story forward via the story quest and enjoyable. By the conclusion of the game, you will have your questions answered. Again, I will not spoil the story, so let's move on to gameplay. The gameplay fits the story and is straightforward. Boats are the core way to move. One is provided at the beginning of the game. You will need a dock to leave your boat. Later on, you will learn how to use balloons to move from island to island without that boat. Then there is fishing, which needs the boat to do so. There are two methods of fishing. One is similar to Stardew Valley and the challenging way of catching the fish. The other is the relaxing method without the struggle to catch that fish. Now, you can lose a fish with either approach. There are pools of areas on the map where you will fish. Each location will contain different types of fish, and as you catch them for the first time, their portrait will appear on the screen. Most areas have at least four fishes. You can clean up debris, plant trees on the island, plant objects in the water, and place helpers both on land and in the water. This title is a collection game as well, and you can collect all the different fruit and fish to turn them in. In addition, currency in the game is leaves. It is how you can open up different areas. You earn leaves by collecting fruits, fish, and items in the water to sell them to Luna. Leave your game idling, and it will increase the number of leaves you will receive long term, as long as you have helpers. Of course, you can fish as well during these times. You will sell these items to Luna when you no longer have the backpack slots for them or your helpers will sell them for you. You cannot always overlay the trees or the water objects, but the game provides a handy red or green display to let you know if placing the items can be done. The soundtrack is lovely to listen to throughout the game. It allows you to immerse yourself in this world and wonder where the time went. While I do not own the original soundtrack, it is available to purchase for $1.99 US dollars and it contains five tracks. Paul Zimmerman is the artist and composer of the soundtrack. His other work includes other indie games, their full soundtrack, trailer music, and sound effects. 
The game uses pixel art and vibrant colors. The design reminds you of a tropical island with fruits, birds, and other similar exotic elements. The design also leads to feeling that you're in a different world than where Casey is from originally. Casey is different as well when she arrives here. Some spirits wear clothes similar to their human counterparts in our world. Overall, the design for the setting of the characters fit this comfy game. Replay value. The developer described this game as short, and it is. It took me about four hours to finish the entire game. I did allow the game to idle to gather leaves to push the game forward. Based on other individual reviews, they beat the game in two hours. The replay value is low as there is no variance to the story if replayed. How you design the island can be different on a replay or if you want to try a speed run of the game. Otherwise, there may not be a reason for you to replay this. The game is indeed short, but it is a complete story from start to finish. If you want in-depth storytelling, then this game is not for you. If Stardew Valley fishing enrages you, then the option to choose between fishing methods will be up your alley. You can create your garden and collect and turn in the items to complete the collections. If you're an achievement hunter on Steam, each one can be unlocked in one playthrough. The price tag does not give the dollar per hour played at the list price of $7.99 US dollars. You can wait for it to go on sale to pick it up. Overall, I enjoyed this game and I wished it was longer. It wasn't complex. The tasks give you focus on moving forward and if you wanted to just fish or plant items, you had that choice. Honestly, I need simple games to help unwind and feel at home in their world. This game fits that perfectly. The comfy level is 10 out of 10. What do you think? Would you mind letting me know in the comments below? Again, I appreciate each like given to my video and if you subscribe to my channel. Please remember to do so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me. Thanks for watching. I will see you on our next comfy journey.